In this video, I will be doing a tutorial using Glimmer Doll Eyes. I will be using three of their eyeshadows. So, it's very bright and bold and dramatic. So, if you think this is the look that interests you, just stay tuned for the tutorial. So, I've already applied my eyeshadow bases. I used Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my eye area. And then on top of that, just up to my crease, I applied Mixed Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And this will just help your loose pigments stick a lot better. First of all, I'm going to take a bright green color from Glamour Dawn Eyes, of course. And it's called Olivia Green. Really, really bright green. It's a matte. I'm going to use MAC 239 brush. And this is going to go in a semicircle around my eye area, on my eyelid. See how nicely that color applies? I didn't have to redip my brush more than once. Um, for my, or next, I'm going to go around this and blend this out. For that, I'm going to use Berry Wood. And it's just a purpley pink color. It has a little bit of frost in it. Thought somebody was walking on my patio. But I'm going to take a Maxi 22 brush. To touch that up, I'm going to go back in with that green and blend. But for this space that's open on my lid still, I'm going to take a bright blue loose shadow. This is called Mingles. Looks like that. I'm not going to turn it over too much because I've already spilled eyeshadow on my carpet and that really pisses me off. For this, I'm going to use a concealer brush that looks like this. It's from Sigma. Like that. Now I'm just going to go back around that with that green called Olivia Green and that flat brush and just work on making it look like the other side. For my brow highlight, I'm going to go in with Medium Plus from MAC. It's just a face powder. That's Few shades lighter than my skin tone. Using an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, looks like that. I'm just gonna really be generous with this and apply it underneath my brow and also blend out that purple color. For the glitter that I've applied on the other side, I'm going to use a Reflex Glitter from MAC. This is called Reflex Blue. It really doesn't look blue in a jar. I just poured some into a smaller jar because it takes up less space and is better for traveling, in my opinion. I'm going to use a MAC 242 brush. Any synthetic brush will work for this. I'm just going to spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC. You could also use water or whatever other mixing medium that you used to use in. I'm going to really work on getting the excess water off the brush first and just put my brush in here and apply the glitter right on top of that blue eyeshadow that's on my eyelid. I've already applied my black track fluid line to my upper lash line. It's just a black gel liner. For my water line, and tight line. I'm gonna use blues eye coal. It's just a navy. Looks like that. On 
on my lower lash line, I'm going to use Patrol Blue Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliner. It's just a, again, a navy liner, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. And this is going to help pigment stick down there. Now, on top of that, I'm going to smudge a little bit of mingles on top of that. It's that blue I used earlier for in the middle of my lid. Like so. Now, what I'm going to do is apply some L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. You can find this at your local drugstore for my um, concealer. And it's going to be used to clean up all of this and also cover up my dark circles. The ones that I do have. The little that I do have. If I can find the darn stuff. Okay, this is Select Moisture Cover NC42. This is just a shade lighter or two shades lighter on my skin tone. And then for my lashes, I'm using number 100s. Same as the Red Cherry 100s. They're like this. You don't have to do anything this big. But this is what they look like. And once I'm done with all that, I'll return and show you what I use for my face and lips. I've completed my eyes and I've also done this side of my face. For my contour, I'm using a darker purple and a MAC 109 brush. This blush is called Grapevine by Ben Nye. Love this color. I did mine very dramatic. I'm going to go back and touch that up a little bit. For my blush, I'm using Sakura from MAC. It's a mineralized blush. came out with the Quite Cute Collection. I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush. For my highlight, I'm going in with Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. For my lips, I'm going to go bold. Again, you do not have to go bold. You can wear something nude, something neutral. It does not matter. I'm going to use a lip pencil and a gloss for this. For the lip pencil, I'm using Purple Rain from NYX. It looks just like this. And then right on top of that, I'm going in with I Love You Plush Glass. That was also released with Quite Cute. So as you can see, I really blended out that lip color so it wasn't so bold. This is the final look. I will zoom you in the real way. Whoop, wrong direction. These are our eyes. Oh, it's a little messy up in there. There we go. The eyes. The cheeks. And the lips. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please check out my blog where I will have pictures and a list of all the products I used. And all of the information will be in the information box. And thanks for watching.